Hello again, Pacific Northwest History students. This is your instructor, Susan Vetter, and this is a brief introduction to how to find our free online textbook. Here I am in the textbook folder in our Angel Classroom. You know where I am by looking at these breadcrumbs to see how I got there. Here is our required textbook. It's free. It's online. It's available from this website. These are the instructions for how to find it on that website. And this is this MLA style citation for our textbook. I will refer to our textbook in shorthand as Findlay after the author, Professor John Findlay at the University of Washington. Here is the title of our online textbook the website where it's located. This means no date because there's no specific date of publication, although as you read the chapters you will notice that most seem to have been written in the late 1990s. This tells you it's a web resource and here when you actually cite our textbook you will enter your access date, meaning the date when you access the textbook and read that information. A date would be the 10th of October 2012. Notice also in our textbook folder that I give you an optional print textbook to buy. It does not, I repeat, does not replace the required reading that you have to do in the Finley textbook, but you might find it handy to have a print text of Pacific Northwest history to refer to and this is a text I use for many years and it's relatively cheap to buy or f you can find it in a library to check out. Remember it does not replace the Finley text it's simply if you'd like an option of a print textbook to look at to refer to. Again, here are the instructions on how to find our textbook. Here's the link. We click it. It opens in a new window. And off we go. Here's the new window opening on a site called the Center for the Study of the Pacific Northwest at the University of Washington. This is a very helpful website. We will use other materials here. But the main one we will use is our textbook. Remember those instructions? Look under Classroom Materials, Pacific Northwest History. Course Index takes you right to the chapter list in our textbook. But let's go to the main site where you see an introduction by Professor Finley, a noted Pacific Northwest historian with a new book in 2011 out with Bruce Hevley called Atomic Frontier Days, Hanford and the American West. Professor Finley notes that many of you may also be looking at the Schwantes textbook. Carlos Schwantes, a noted Pacific Northwest historian, used to be at the University of Idaho where I was fortunate enough to take seminar class with him and after that able to work with him, present conference papers with him at various Pacific Northwest history and mining history conferences. This is the course overview. This is a list of chapters. You don't need this because this applies to Professor Finley's University of Washington class. There it is. Grading and assignments applies to this class, not ours. We use the textbook. Here's a list of the chapters. Notice they're organized into units and within units the lessons, a total of 27. These lessons are essentially like chapters in a textbook. If you look at our syllabus and here it is, it repeats the information about the required textbook, how to find it, the citation, the optional textbook to purchase 
if you wish, but not to replace the online textbook. And remember, way at the end of our syllabus is a brief schedule. And I take you to it to show you the shorthand way I refer to the readings in our online textbook. Here it is, week one that opens Thursday morning. You'll read some angel lectures, and you will read Finley units one and two. Let's go back. Here's the list of the chapters in Finley unit one, unit two. So essentially, you're going to be looking at these four chapters. Let's click into the first one, who belongs in the Pacific Northwest. Click on it. It opens. And there you see what you will read. Now, I explain in our textbook folder that each week not only will you have the link to the online textbook, but I will provide PDF files for the assigned chapters each week. You can then download those PDF files and read from those. If you don't want to read online, you have the option of printing right from the website or printing from those PDF files, but printing will very soon lead to many pages, not very eco-friendly. Thus, you will find yourself reading on the screen, either online and reading this screen, or reading the PDF file on your computer screen. Be prepared for that. A lot of screen reading. And note that I give you an alternative to screen reading. There's our software applications, tools that you can download. I give one of them here that will actually read an online page to you, such as Lesson 1. That may give you a break, your eyes a break, from the reading, and you can listen. All right, I said this will be quick, and I'm droning on and on. Let me just show you that be aware of links within a chapter page that if you click on it, will open that cartoon in a larger version, a new window. Then you can return to Lesson 1 by doing that. I hope that gives you a quick introduction to how to find our textbook. Remember, you go under Classroom Materials, Pacific Northwest History, Course Index, and there you see the list of units with lessons within them that we will refer to as chapters. Conveniently, our reading assignments will refer to the online textbook as Finley and give you the specifics of which unit, which lessons within it to read. I provide references to the Schwante's text should you want to read more about that particular time period or topic that you read about in the Finley text, you can look at it in the Schwante's text to give you more information. Remember, these Schwante's readings do not replace reading in the Finley text. If I said that enough times, I do repeat myself, but only because I find myself answering the same question over and over again. Thank you for your patience. I hope you're now comfortable with how to find our online textbook.